So I wasn't planning on shooting a video today, but there's this rumor going around that the Sony a7 IV can shoot 4K 60 non-cropped full frame if you do a little hack with the Ninja 5. And I've been getting tagged on Twitter and sent emails and everything multiple times since this came out, I don't know, like two days ago or something. So I wanted to address it in a quick little video, but I don't have the a7 IV. I only had it for the review and I haven't purchased one myself but I have a friend who does have one, iPhoneDo. So I got him on the phone here right now. You're already posing. How do you know I'm gonna cut to you? You don't know I'm cutting to you. Anyway, I got iPhoneDo on the phone. Just in case. And he was uh, gracious enough to do all the tests for us. And so if, by the way, if you're not subscribed or watch his channel regularly, you gotta go watch this guy. One, we're gonna talk about his tests in a minute. They're excellent. Uh, and two, he's probably one of my favorite YouTube channels. So why, are, why aren't you watching him? Like no, no other channel could I just like, Send a message at, well, for me, it was like midnight. Uh, he's in the Pacific Coast, it was only 9 p.m., but where I was like, hey, can you do some tests? And he's like, yeah, what tests are we doing? So I appreciate you, iPhoneDo, thanks for doing the tests, and thanks for- It was my pleasure. The video in question says that if you take your a7 IV and you set it to 1080p, then you can go to 60 frames per second, and there is no crop. That is true. That's like if you record internally 1080p. But then they were finding that if you go to the HDMI output, you can still set the HDMI output to 2160p Ultra HD. And when you do this, the Ninja 5 will display Ultra HD 60 in the top corner of it, which led this uh, person to believe that he was getting 4K 60 recording on his Ninja 5. And that's true and not true. It is true. So everything in that statement is true. You can set the camera to 1080p 60 and it's filming without the crop. And then you, you can set the HDMI out to 4K and then feed that into the Atomos Ninja. And then Atomos Ninja says it's 4K and you start recording it. All of that is true. In his video, he showed that his file was like 3840 by 2160, 60 frames. Like the, the file integrity is 4K 60. Everything was fine. The issue though, is, is it scaling just up from 1080p? It's not really 4K. So that's what I wanted iPhoneDo to test because it's, I mean, well, first of all, this is, like I said, comment iPhoneDo is that you never know when you ask somebody like, hey, can you do a test for me? You never know what you're gonna get. You know, sometimes it's like somebody sends you two clips of their dog and they're running around or whatever. You're like, well, this is nice footage, but I don't know how I'm supposed to compare this. Anyway, you had a great shot. You threw a color checker in there. You got a little focus chart and uh, you manually focused them all. Everything was locked off. It was beautiful. You did a great job. Oh, oh, so nice to hear because, you know, this is how we roll. This is how we do stuff, you know, in our channels. And it's really, really great to find someone who appreciates that, who does work in the same discipline. So it was a lot of fun for me to prepare it properly and send it properly for you. So we did sort of two batches of tests. The first one was just repeating what the video showed. You, you set it to 1080p 60, you record out to, 4K. The only issue with that is that that can't really be recreated because the camera doesn't have a true 4K 60 uncropped to compare it against. So all we could do is we really look at the image and compare it to the other 4K stuff that the camera can do. And to me, that first test looked like upscale 1080p. It did not look like 4K. Do you agree? I completely agree. Yeah, it absolutely looks upscaled and nothing else. So we did the second batch of tests, which I think is probably a bit smarter based on the test situation. What we can do is we can force the crop in 1080p. We can turn that on or off. So we enabled APS-C mode in 1080p, which now we have a similar frame to the regular 4K 60. So we've got 1080p 60 with the crop turned on and 4K 60, which always has the crop. And we were able to compare a true 4K 60 recording to a 1080p 60 with a crop recording where the output is set to 1080p over HDMI and where the output is set to 4K over HDMI. The 4K 60, the true 4K 60 crop recording looked like 4K. I could tell in the in the color checker, it there was like just detail, the, the sort of textured pattern of the color checker was there, all the detail was there. And this is looking uh, on it, at it on a 4K timeline. Whether you had it HDMI output set to 1080p or you had the HDMI output set to 2160p, both of them had sort of a blurrier texture on the color checker and overall they looked like the other 1080p footage. So we ended up, what I ended up seeing from you was like three shots that all look like, you know, slightly blurrier and then only one that looked extra sharp and that was the true 4K 60 crop. 
That is correct. Actually, I was going back and forward between the upscaled and then the regular 1080p and I'm just diving in, zooming out, diving in, zooming out to see any difference because, you know, the frames, you see tiny movements. But then when actual 4K comes into the shot, then you're like, oh, okay, this is actual 4K. The others are just upscaled. It looks a little bit different. It doesn't look like, oh, I'm getting all this extra resolution. It just looks different. And I think that's probably because the file is actually 4K. So when I think what I think it's most similar to is probably just like you do sometimes when you make a YouTube video or you're ready to, to deliver something, you take your 1080p footage, you put it in a 4K timeline, you export 4K, you upload that to YouTube, you get a better looking image than if you just went HD, HD, HD all the way through, the, the 4K up converted one looks a little bit better. Does it look like a 4K recording? No, but it, it looks a little bit sharper. But you could do this in post. You don't, it's not, it's not like a big, we're not, we're not un unveiling some secret aspect of the camera. You're basically just saying you're upscaling it in, in the, in the over HDMI rather than in Premiere or Resolve or whatever you use, Final Cut. I think that's, that's what I saw, basically. Yeah, it's not worth the trouble. I would, I would never do this. Because you'd get all confused. You'd, you'd be like, you'd, then you'd record some intensity. You didn't want it to record it. Yeah, you'd get all confused. I also want to. So the user, by the way, I didn't. I don't think I mentioned him yet. His, uh, his uh, YouTube channel, I think, is chphotovideo.com. But I think in other forums he goes by cy. I think his name is like Chris Young or something. First off, don't go giving this guy a lot of hate. Uh, I, I think it's great that he was poking around with this and and then found this and then made a video about it. He didn't say anything inflammatory. He didn't like be like, oh, Sony exposed, like nothing like that. He just was like, hey, this is a, this is something I noticed. And he even tagged me to be like, do you want to test this or validate it? Um, so I, this stuff is great because sometimes you do find something that's that's good. And I, and I did the same thing with the A1s where I found that if you set the camera to 8K, but you record it out to 4K, you get like an oversampled 4K. But I only found the the A1 thing by doing the same kind of stuff that this guy did. So I'm not criticizing at all, it's kudos, you know? No, it's really good, really good. And this is how we go forward too. It's really good when they when people dive into stuff like this. What if it would have worked? I got really excited last night. I was like, oh, can it be? So yeah, basically a lot of the recent Sony cameras have had this thing where they can output different HDMI resolutions than what's being recorded internally but it's the internal one that matters when it comes to the quality of the image, unless you're using that HDMI output only option, in which case the internal recording is disabled and then you only go by the HDMI output. But if ever we're trying to up sample, down sample, whatever, usually we have that turned off and we use both an internal and external combination. And in that case, it's the internal that matters, not the external number. Because if it did matter, then on something like the A1, you could set it to 4K 60, and then you can actually set the HDMI output resolution to 4320p. So that'd be like saying, the A1 has a secret 8K 60 mode that they never told anybody about. It doesn't have an 8K 60 mode. Theoretically, you could upscale your 4K 60 to 8K, but it's just gonna look like 4K, just like the A7IV's upscale 1080p kinda just looks like 1080p, maybe just a few percent better. I wish it worked, honestly, yeah. That's a that's a better video. It, that's a better video to make than this one, where we just like yeah. validate it and be like, yeah, now you got 4K 60 full frame. But again, thanks to the original user, uh, I think against Chris Young or chphotovideo.com. Thanks to the original user for doing this test, gave us something to investigate. And uh, thank you to iPhoneDo for providing the A7 IV tests, such good tests. And- uh, Thanks so much. And end of video, I guess. You got anything to say? All right, I'm done. <laughs>